I don't hate Fred Phelps and Westboro Baptist Church the way most people do. One of the biggest reasons for this is because I actually have identification with them. I'm not a homophobic person, so that's not my identification. I'm not a fundamentalist, that's not my identification. I'm not a Christian, that's not my identification. Like them, I have a lot of venom in me, and I have manifested it in the ways they have. Right now, I'm doing very intensive soul searching. I want to improve myself and achieve my goals. Right now, I'm focusing, zooming in on Westboro Baptist Church because it represents a layer of my soul I am seeking to remove, the moral crusader level of my soul. This level of the soul is ineffective and it prevents me from getting what I want. I see myself in Fred Phelps and Westboro Baptist Church, thus I can't hate them. And I would like to read you a position paper from the autonomy party, the political party I have. And this represents my view since I am a member of the autonomy party, a founder in fact, and thus the changes I make in my personal life reflect the party. As you can see, I have some of the same themes as Fred Phelps does, and this was before I even cared two wits about Fred Phelps. I talk about how you're either 100% against abortion and alcohol or 100% for it, and those who are not doing anything about it are the opposite. Take a close look at what I write and see the comparisons, and this is why I need to change. I want to be an iconoclast a revered iconoclast and a moral crusader is not a revered iconoclast. Toward the end of college and in graduate school I did a lot of pickets against alcohol places like bars, taverns, liquor shops and even a brewery and the way I handle it really reminds me of Fred Phelps. I listened to some of their clips on the videos about early protests and even the current protests and it reminds me of what I did. So I would like to play to you some of the clips of one protest when I went to boycott French wine. It said July 19th on the tape. I believe it was July 19th, 2003. So have a listen. Tell me if it reminds you of Fred Phelps. July 19th. I am in my house just about to head out to do a protest. Today, I'm not protesting any business in particular, but rather trying to find a place to spread the message Holding my sign which says boycott French wine. Would you like a leaflet? Sure. I like okay, thanks. No problem. Oh. Everywhere there's Yes you can. I can't give it to you because you're in the street. I don't want to cross the street. Read it on the fire. Read it on the fire. Get out of Iraq? 
what? This was done in Mankato, Minnesota. In some of the clips you may see some similarities. For example, like they are today, I was very cognizant of following the law as much as I could. They're definitely very good about that these days. Also, the whole protest itself, boycott French wine, it is doing what they are trying to do. Whenever they can find something that supports their agenda one-tenth of one inch, they take it for 10,000 miles. Bush appointed two guys that were gay to high office, so in their mind they want to convince the world he is this, as Fred Phelps said, number one gay recruiter in America. I had trouble getting people persuaded to support my anti-alcohol efforts. Thus, I found the French wine issue. I knew people were upset at France because of the Iraq war. Thus, I tried to take that for as many miles as I could. People didn't care when I said alcohol caused problems in the family, drunk driving death, but when I said boycott French wine, people started to care, so I started to bring that as much as I could.